What is the, the excitement for the season? Obviously, it's it's a long winter, and finally games are about to start. Just kind of, what's your excitement for this for the season? Uh, just the team we have. We have a lot of guys coming back, with a lot of experience. Um, you know, obviously, there's a lot of talent on this team, and a lot of high expectations. And we just want to go out there and play um, and execute um, at the highest level that we know we're capable of. And um, yeah, I think it's just exciting the, the the buzz and all that stuff. But I think just an internal feel on the team is. Um, you know, we got a really talented team, and we could, uh, you know, make the run that we're, um, you know, that our goals are is to make, make those deep runs, and um, I think that's the most exciting part. You had a good second half of the season last year, really, really good as of late, pitched well in the NCAA tournament. What kind of springboard was that for you into the fall and the winter, knowing that you, you were able to put it together last year? Sure, I mean, it was just a lot of confidence to build on and um, really take that momentum and, and drive of falling short. Um, of where we wanted to go last year um, and, and taking that into the fall and into the winter and um, just kind of building up, upon it and um, taking that confidence even more into this year. Sean McGrath comes in last year. It's kind of late, just the hire was late with the way that the MLB season works. And what was it like having a full off season hit and to really go into things and work? It was good. It was really just building more on our connection and um, you know, our uh, business together and our staff and our, our <clears throat> mottos and what we uh, continue to build on day by day and um, you know just trying to build our staff up to um, you know where we felt we fell short last year and uh, we got a super deep staff and um, you know just harping on you know his his mottos every day and I'm um, having a full year full off season with him was really beneficial for us. What was your biggest focus this off season from a pitching standpoint? Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to set in on, a, on an arsenal and just be able to refine a lot of things and um, you know, work on pitch shapes and, and confidence and uh, just filling up the zone. Um, our motto is dominate the zone. And, um, you know, you really want to take that to heart and, and try to pitch by that motto. So. You guys, uh, the starting rotation, um, that sets a tone for this team. I mean, do you feel do you feel that, you three guys? And all Iowa guys too, right? <laughs> Two yeah, Iowa yeah, City yeah. guys. Yeah, Two it's, Iowa it's City cool, guys. it's cool. Um, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in our, our starting pitchers and, uh, you know, we want to lead the way and be able to set the tone for the rest of the guys. And um, we got a lot of experience behind us this year. And um, I think we're going to uh, have a lot of success with how deep we are this year. And, um, you know, as starters, we really just want to set the tone um, every game. And, uh, you know, we, we take that with pride and with a lot of responsibility. And, um, you know, we got three really capable, three Friday night guys. Um, and we're going to take our days and do the best that we can with them. So. Kate says he just tries every day to live up to what you and Brody do every day. And he says you guys kind of all push each other, kind of feed off each other. Yeah, absolutely. We feed off each other. And, um, you know, we're all really competitive guys. And uh, we have an understanding that, you know, we're all Friday capable guys. And, um, you know, we really just want to play our part for the team um, and allow that to take us to where we want to go. So. How do you guys go uh, with balancing sort of the offseason expectations while still staying focused on the game? Um, I think we have a really experienced group. Uh, a lot of guys back and have kind of gone through um, kind of the buzz of last year and coming into this year. And I think we, you know, I found a system to be able to block it out and um, really just focus on our team goals and taking it day by day and doing the day by day stuff um, that's going to prepare us um, to be successful and uh, kind of just sticking to our game plan and our mottos and, um, you know, showing up with the attitude and effort every day to get it done. So. Where do you feel like your biggest area of growth is from maybe the end of last season, maybe the end of last summer, that time frame? I think just mindset, mental game, um, just continuing to focus on that and uh, mature on and off the field and, um, you know, really have a great team chemistry and building on that and, um, you know, just the day by day little things just growing in those areas too. So. At times last year, you used the cutter over the fastball because you had more command with it. Sure. Is that the plan this year? Do you want to incorporate the fastball more? Um, it's going to be game to game. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've grown being able to throw a lot of different pitches at any time, and um, that's something that we're going to use this year, whether it's the cutter or the fastball. Um, you know, there's been growth in both of those pitches, and um, you know it'll be game by game. But uh, I'm confident throwing all the pitches. So, is it a little bit easier to to put aside some of those preseason expectations, seeing those rankings stuff, knowing that you know there's motivation from last year, you know, losing the Big Ten tournament title, not winning a regional? Does that make it easier to kind of put those expectations to the side? Yeah, and you know we we understand this year that uh, there's going to be a target on our back, and um, you know we want to wear that with a, with a lot of pride. Uh, Coach harps on, you know, something that Lisa Luter says: uh, pressure is, is a privilege, um, and I know we're going to take that very well. And 
um, really go out and just try to execute and, and play to our capabilities, and I think we'll find a lot of success in that. There's 